This is the Olympus TG2 Tough camera. Now it follows on from the TG1, which we looked at last year and took into the water. In terms of the way it looks, it's very similar. You've got this grip here, which we found so useful to hold onto when splashing around in the water. And you've also got the rocker switch here to zoom in and out. Now the big difference on this model is that they've added an aperture priority mode so you can blur the focus, change the depth of field, so you can take a little bit more creative control over your shots. Aside from that, obviously you've got an underwater mode because this is a waterproof camera. So you can take this one down as deep as 15 metres, which is the deepest of the cameras that we've seen here at CES. It's also shockproof from a height of 2.1 metres if you drop it, and it's also freeze-proof down to a temperature of minus 10 degrees C. Now on the back here, you've got, let me just switch it on, you've got a 610K dot screen, which is actually, it's, well, same as we saw on the Olympus TG1, it's actually quite good in bright light. You can also see here, you've got your controls, as you might expect, all manual, not touch screen. Now Olympus has put a different processor into this one, so it's actually faster when you're auto-focusing. It's also made some changes with the GPS, so now when you turn on the GPS function it starts to download information, so it should be quicker if you're tagging stuff when you're travelling around, so that you don't have to then remember where you were when you took your photo. It can shoot at 5 frames per second, which is pretty good for this type of camera. It also only has a 4 times optical zoom, but that's not uncommon with a waterproof camera because you don't want the lens sticking out the front of the camera. It needs to be sealed. So that's the TG2. It's going to be available, well, fairly soon, we expect. It should be rolling off the production line, so it may hit the UK sometime around February, March, I reckon. should be priced at around the same price as the TG1 was when it launched, so we're looking at about £290. Now, if you want to find out about other cameras that have been announced here, at CES, click on the links below.